hello guys welcome back to the channel there's a popular saying that if you fail to plan then you are definitely planning to fail uh, on today's episode we are going to be looking at planning for a successful oil palm plantation project uh, if you want to establish an oil palm plantation especially people who are looking towards next year or maybe in the nearest future there are certain things you need to put in place there are certain things you need to do before you get to the establishment stage it's not like you just wake up uh, today and you say okay next week i want to do my establishment if you actually want to go through that route uh, there is higher possibility that you'll be messing things up for yourself you'll be spending more money than expected that is expected of you and most likely you'll be messing everything up you'll be doing a kind of a mushy mushy work on your farm so in order for you to avoid this kind of uh, scenario that is why i'm putting out uh, this video for all of us who have the inspiration or the plan of setting up an oil palm plantation in the nearest future so uh, let's get to it i'll be running us through the stages and the things we need to put in place to make our journey of our oil palm plantation establishment project easy for every one of us so join me as i will take you through all the stages you need to get prepared on so uh the first thing you have to do is to get your land cleared so uh for somebody who want to establish next day so the issue of land acquisition uh land paper and everything must have been sought out by now you must have gotten all your paper gotten all your perimeter uh, the land the land you want to use get all the perimeter marked and make sure you have the original paper and entitlement to the land so the first thing you have to do is land clearing you have to prepare for your land clearing and the best time to do this is between december and january the reason why you have to do this between december and january is that uh, at this time it will be during the dry season the bushes will not be that full and then you will not be spending so much money to clear bush so you are expected to do your land clearing between december and january and if you are uh, you are establishing on a virgin forest this one will give you a lot enough time to do a uh, tree remover uh, stomping then your bush clearing so within this a month or two you should clear get rid of all the trees and the vegetation on that land so uh, the next thing for you to do and especially for people who are establishing uh, more than uh, 50 acres of farmland you have to put in place farm layout on your farm if you are planting or if you are establishing more than 50 acres of land it is very very important for you to have a farm layout because it will help you in the whole management of the farm accessibility and every one of it i've done a video about farm layout the importance of farm layout in an oil palm plantation and any trick of plantation particularly look out for a video on this channel to learn more about family out so uh you have to get an agri consultant who will help you to come and visit your farm and give you a layout uh, plan and if you don't have an agri consultant if you have a surveyor who is smart up there who knows what he's doing a, a, a certified surveyor a certified surveyor can also uh, give you a good uh, family out so um this should be done between january and february so all this time frame uh have their impact and we'll get to that so uh the third stage the third stage you should uh be looking out for is the sourcing of materials you have to source for your seedlings your nets if you are establishing in an uh in a virgin forest you'll be needing it uh you have to uh, get in touch with a consultant if you will be using an agri consultant you have to book ahead let them know you'll be needing their service at so 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 period of 
of time. Not that you want to establish next month, you'll be running after people. They will disappoint you that way. So, uh, and also you put in place your logistics. So, this is usually done between March. You have to get all these things done by March. Sourcing of material, where you want to gain your sibling funds, everything. You have to, even by making payment or uh, making deposit for all this kind of thing, get it ready beforehand. So, because the first stage that I will take us to the fourth stage, which is the farm establishment, the field establishment itself which is the bulk of the work. So, and it is advisable, this uh, establishment should be done with, between April, May, latest by June, you should be uh, done with this, or when the rain uh, is stable. The reason for this is that this will allow your seedlings to get well rooted before the, the rain will stop. So it will allow them to have at least six months access to rain before the dry season will set in. So, if you are skipping all this, all this part, and you just want to start your establishment process by this April, you'll be running into loss. You'll be running into too much expenses because you want to start your, your land clearing by April. The bushes are, are becoming thick or already. So you'll be doing a kind of rough work, rush work and you just want to rush everything and model everything up, which will not be a good one for your new uh, establishment. So, and lastly but not the least, the fourth, uh, the fifth thing you have to also prepare for is the farm management and maintenance. Immediately after your establishment, immediately after your establishment, the next thing that should be on your mind is how do I manage and how do I maintain my farm? So an activity involved in this include intercropping. What do you want to intercrop with your farm? I have a video that I explain the principal guiding uh, intercropping in oil palm farming. You can look out for that video on this channel. You learn a lot of a lot of things about intercropping. You don't you don't just intercrop anything with your oil palm. There are so many, there are different type of crop you can inter, intercrop at different stages. So look out for that video on this channel and learn more about that. So um, another thing is cover cropping then replacement. By three months after, this one should, be, should, should come to your mind or should happen by three to four months after your planting. So because by this time you will be able to know some of the seedlings that will need replacement. The one that died or the one that did survive so you have the first thing you are going to be doing is to replace the dead seedlings on your farm so uh these are the things you need to put in place don't just uh wake up or uh maybe you just think by july you want to start the whole process i'm not saying you will not get it done you will get it done but you'll be spending more than what is expected of you You've been in a rush. You people will do shabby work for you, and if there is no planning, you are most likely to fail. Uh, with this, I've come to the end of today's topic, and I hope uh, you got value one way or the other from this uh, topic. If you are watching for the first time, my name is Lawa Olushola Lawa. I'm an agri consultant. I'm a farmer by training. I'm a farmer by education and by practice. And this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture. So if that is exactly what you've been looking for, kindly click the subscribe button to have access to more of my videos. Uh, thank you for your time and thank you for your attention. See you on the next one.